Hello, I'd like to um, make my video presentation about my topic that I chose for um, for this class. Um, I decided with my paper, my final paper, I was just going to touch on um, issues, uh, challenges, and issues that are faced by the older adult population. Um, one of the things I uh, touched on at first was uh, elder abuse. Um, it is hard to document and because of low reportings, but based off of our textbook, um, it mentioned that about 7% of all um, elderly people within the 65 plus age group has experienced um, some form of elder abuse. Uh, the most prominent version of uh, elder abuse is uh, extortion. And um, this is because they will have caretakers that will um, um, that will have the uh, vulnerable adult sign over a uh, power of attorney or big transfers of money or uh, property to the caregiver's name that seems to be a little bit in excess to what is needed to take care of them. So uh, that's not cool. Um, uh, another part I talked on was uh, discrimination as far as specifically in the workforce. Um, it, from what, it, my, what I was reading, uh, um, many older adults still want to uh, work, but a lot of times they get pressured into early retirement in order to save cost. Uh, for instance, usually older adults are, um, they've been with a company for a longer period of time, so they probably get paid more of a higher position. So in order to cut costs, they'll um, try to pressure them into retirement by giving them a, um, a tempting retirement package. But if it's not used properly or, or managed properly, it can end up... Um, causing financial problems later on um, and a lot of discrimination that goes towards older Americans uh, especially in the workforces they'll be seen as they they're not, will be unable to learn new tasks or that they'll become slower or senile and for the most part that's not even true um, and there's a lot of benefits to hiring older uh individuals, uh, they're more likely to not call out of work. They have lower issues with alcoholism and drug addiction. At least it's not dragged into work as much as with their younger counterparts. Um, they usually have better job satisfaction and more loyalty to the company. Um, so there's a lot of benefits there of hiring or retaining um, older Americans in the workforce. Um, the last thing I touched on was uh, sexuality and the um, aging population. Uh, a lot of times it, it mentioned that um, physical health and sexual activity are closely linked. And so, um, and there's like this idea of within younger Americans, especially, or just Americans that aren't 85 or 70, that old people don't want to have sex or they don't like sex and that's not the case. I mean, a lot of times that maybe as they get older, they can't perform as much, but they still want that intimacy and want that connection and love. And that feeling doesn't go away just because you get old. So that's another misconception there. Um, talked about different ways to navigate those issues. Um, for instance, uh, taking pain relievers beforehand or, um, uh, using heated blankets to relieve arthritis pains or maybe just even resulting to non-sexual forms of sexual activity such as um, kissing or touching or uh, um, just being near, being close. Um, those actually weigh in more as you get older as being more important than the actual act itself. So um, I think as a whole, as long as 
we as a community like in every age group should become more educated in the process of aging and that it's not always just this horrible decline and you won't find any joy or happiness because that's not true at all. A lot of times they can find enlightenment and satisfaction with the life that they led and develop a sense of introspection that they were never able to um, come to until uh, they've reached this part of their life. So um, that was my paper.